Hi, my name is Carla. I'm a registered nurse. And for this lesson, we're going to be discussing military time. So why is military time so significant in healthcare careers, especially? Well, you're going to notice that in healthcare careers, they want you to chart in military time. Why is this important? Well, because it's going to diminish errors. If you write sloppily and we can't tell whether you wrote AM or PM, that's going to be pretty significant. This is why we'd use military time. That way we know exactly when something occurred without any confusion. So let's take a look at some examples. First of all, we have to know some rules about military time. Some of these are that military times are gonna range from zero to 24 hours. Military time does not include colons, or the, those are the double dots. It does not include AM or PM written in it, and it is written as a four digit number. So here's a little hint. For military time, for example, midnight would be written as 0000, and noon would be written as 1200. And here on the right, I added a little picture that shows both military time and standard time, the one you would typically see on clocks and analog watches. And in the little boxes right underneath the numbers, you can also tell that we have the military time written. So 0000, 0100, and then it goes around again until we get to noon, which would be 1200. 1 p.m. would be 1300. So there's a lot of charts and a lot of clocks that you can look at for examples. But for now, we're gonna be focusing on the standards, the rules for distinguishing whether something is gonna be written in military time or standard time. So here, for example, in example number one, it says convert 9.37 a.m. to military time. So how do I convert something to military time? So when you are converting to military time, whether it is in the morning or in the afternoon, will let you know what numbers you're going to begin with. For example, in the morning, I can either start with zero or one in those four digit numbers. And then in the afternoon, it's either, either going to be one or two. You'll see what I mean here. For example, 9.37 a.m. for question number one. 9.37 is going to be written as 0937. Why is that? Well, it is before 12 p.m. means that means that it has to be less than 1200. So here in this example, 0937, that is how you would write 937 a.m. in military time. You start off by saying, is there anything in that first digit? So here, was there anything here in this area before the nine? No, there wasn't. So I would add a zero. And then everything else would just follow suit and be written exactly as it is. So for example, let's look at the next problem here. Convert to military time, 2 or 3 p.m. So when we are talking about military time, in the morning, you look to see if there's a number before that value, that like 937. And if there isn't, then you can add a zero. And if there is, for example, with 11 a.m., then you would have written a one. But when we're talking about the evening after 12 p.m., this does not apply. You are not gonna be looking at whether something is written before. Instead, what you're going to do is you're gonna continue adding from 12 p.m. onward. So when we are talking about the afternoon, you add 1200. So that's as simple as that. So 1200 plus 203, 203 from that 203 p.m. And that would give me 1403. So the military time for a p.m for this one would have been 14.03. So like we said, in the morning, this is gonna be bef below that 1200 value, so below 1200. So if there's nothing written before, like in 937, in that first digit, in that one of the first digits, one of the first four digits, then you would add a zero. If there is something written there, for example, let's say it would have said 11.37 a.m. Let's say that it would have been 11.37 a.m. Is there something here in that first digit? Yes, there is, there's the one. So I would just write it as is. So in military time, 11.37 a.m. would have been written as 11.37. And then for question two, we are now dealing with p.m. So with p.m., you actually have to add 1200. So that's why we added 1200 to that 2 or 3 p.m. So you added 12 hours because essentially that's what military time is. We're starting to count from 12 and we're moving, we're adding time to that. So at 12 p.m., once you get to 1 p.m., for example, that would have been 1300. At 2 p.m. would have been 1400 and so on. 
Now let's practice converting from military time back to standard time. So let's look at this example, 1509. So I know that's military time because I don't see any colons, I don't see any AM or PM. So to convert from military time back to standard time, you're actually going to now subtract 1200. So here it's above 1200, so I can subtract. I know this is after noon, this is after 12 p.m. I'm gonna just subtract, so this one would have been 309. So 309 converted to standard time would be 309 p.m. Let's look at another example. So convert to standard time. So 2359, is that above 1200? Yes, it is. So that means that this is a p.m. time. So I can subtract 1200 to convert this to a p.m. time in standard format. So minus 1200, and the answer would be um, 11.59 p.m. So for this one, my answer would be 11.59 p.m. So we're getting close to midnight here. So that is what you do with military time. You have to figure out if it's gonna be a.m. or p.m. because this determines whether or not you're going to change it in military time by adding 1200 if it's p.m. or just leave it as is if it is a.m. and add a zero at the beginning. If you are changing back to standard time, if the standard time provided is above 1200, then you know it is in the p.m. time. So you can subtract 1200. Let's look at some other examples. So let me scroll down. So for question five, it says medication administration schedule. A patient is prescribed a medication to be administered every eight hours starting at 6.30 a.m. Calculate the times for the next two doses of mili in military time. So 6.30 a.m. If I have to give this medication every eight hours, so in eight hours, that's gonna be what? Well, I can add 800 to this one, and that would already give me military time because we're gonna end up with a number above 1200, so that would be 1430. So that would be my military time for the next dose. Now, another way you can do this is that you can just add eight hours manually. So pretend you're looking at a clock at an analog clock, and you are at 6.30 a.m. If you add eight hours, you would end up at 2.30 p.m. So that's another way you can do this one. You could end up at 2.30 p.m. and then convert that 2.30 p.m. to military time, but I like to do the shortcut. I like to add those eight hours because what's in my, um, if I were to write this out in terms of like a place value chart, eight hours, well, I know my hours are here to the left of the colon, and I know my minutes are to the right of the colon. So that is how I was able to come up with 800 because it's eight hours, I put that in the hours column and then there's no minutes so I just added zero, zero. Or I could have done it in the other format where I first add the eight hours and I leave it as standard time and then I convert that standard time to military time. So let's do that. So 2.30 p.m. converting that to stand, um, that standard time to military time. Well, like we said, if it's p.m., I can add 1,200. So for this one, if I add 1,200, I would have ended up with 1,430. And it's the same answer we got for the other one, 1,430. Now here the question says next two doses. So if I do the next two doses, this is my first dose, that 1,430. My next dose would be eight hours again later because we're doing it every eight hours. So now we calculated that first part of the question, which is calculate the next two doses. So we calculated the first dose. So the first time we have to give the next dose is at 1,430. Now we have to figure out the second dose. So how do we figure out the second dose? Well, we know that we have to give it every eight hours, so I'm gonna add eight hours to that 1,430. So if I add eight hours to 1,430, I can do the same thing, add 800, and I would end up with 2230. And that is in military time. So that would be my next dose, 2230. Now let's look at the next example. So for question six, I have an infusion rate calculation. A patient requires a continuous IV infusion of antibiotics starting at 1400, 2 p.m. So they're giving me the military time, except that here they wrote the colon, which shouldn't be there. Okay, so looking at this, 1400 or 2 p.m. and running for 16 hours. Calculate the time when the infusion will finish in military time. So military time 
is going to be again from zero all the way to 24, or essentially we don't write 24, we write zero, 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 zero. If it is at 2 p.m., that's standard time, or 1400 military time, I can just add those 16 hours. So I'm just gonna add it to the military time. It's easier, it's already written in that four digit format. So 1400 plus 16 hours, so remember 16 hours, there's no minutes, so I just write zero, zero. I'm going to add that. So that should be 30, Hundred. Now, is this a value that I can actually have in terms of military time? No, because military time goes from zero all the way to zero, 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 zero. So that means that once we reach 2359, which would be like 1159 PM, the next value up would be midnight, which is written as zero, 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 zero. So I can't go above 2359. Here I did. So what do I do? Well, I have to figure out a way to convert that into a time that I can actually use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write 3,000 or 3,000, and I'm gonna subtract 2,400 because that's how many hours there are in a day. Essentially what happened here is we went past midnight and now we are in the next day now. So that's one way you can do it. You can do 3,000 minus 2,400 and your answer would be 0, 6, 0, 0. So at six in the morning is when I would have essentially finish giving this IV infusion. So this is one way you can do it. You can add, and then if you go over that 2,400, you can subtract those 2,400. Another way you could have done it is you could have just simply added the 16 hours to the 2 p.m. So let's do that. Let's say that I had two o'clock p.m. and I added those 16 hours, so 1,600. That would have given me 1,800. And then with this one, so 18 p.m. Is there, not 1800, 18 p.m. Is there an 18 p.m.? No, there's not, right? We would have gone from, well, not p.m. here, actually it would have been a.m. because we went into the next day. Is there an 18 a.m.? No, there isn't. So essentially, again, we went over the midnight time. So we started the clock all over again. There isn't an 18. We stop at midnight, which would have been 12 a.m. So what I can do is I can subtract, so I have 1800, um, not 1800, 18 a.m. and I can subtract my 12 a.m. because again, I got to the midnight, so I'm starting my time over. If I subtract that, I end up with six o'clock a.m. So those are two ways you could have solved for this one. You could figure out it in military time, sticking with that, or you could have done in standard time and stuck with that. So. Either way works. Let's look at the last one. So question seven, medication interval calculation. A nurse administers pain medication to a post-surgical patient at 1845. Let me fix that again, they added a colon. And that would be the same as 645 p.m. And then again, every four hours. So what time should a nurse administer the next dose? So if we're giving it every four hours, that means I need to add four hours to whatever time the medication was first given. So it was given at 6.45 p.m., which is also 18.45 military time. So I can either add it in military time, so I could do, for example, 18.45, that's my military time, and then just add 400, and that would give me 22.45. Or I can add just four hours to my 6.45 p.m., and then convert to military time. So here it doesn't specify what time they want it, whether military time or standard time. So I'm, I'm just gonna write both answers. So 6.45 p.m. and let's add four hours. So I'm gonna add four hours, no minutes. If I do that addition of four hours, I end up with 10.45 p.m. So is 10.45 p.m. the same as 22.45? Yes, it is, so I got the same answer. So for this one, it doesn't say what time it should, the time standard it should be in, standard or military. So I wrote both answers. So both answers are gonna be here, 2245 or 1045. So hopefully this wasn't confusing. I know military time just takes some practice. You just have to know whether the main things you have to focus on are focusing on whether it's AM or PM, and that will set you up to knowing whether you're going to add 1200 or subtract 1200. And so for these examples, we looked at various conversions to military time to standard time and vice versa. We converted back and forth. If you have any questions though, please message me below or you can look at my other videos that I have posted on my channel.